Hi, this is Mark from Feathers and Fur Express. In this video, we'll go over on how to um, uh, upload a health certificate to the USDA uh, VX Veterinary Export Health Certificate System uh, online. We're currently on the USDA website, uh, the Animal and Plant Health Inspection Services. If you don't know how to get to the VX site, you go on this page, select your country. Um, can be any country at this matter this which is just a link to take you to the vx but we'll select germany and click on view requirements if you scroll down you see the links to the usda accredited veterinarians log into vx you can click on that this will take you to the initial landing um, page this is the united states usda click on login and then this will take you to the first um, process um, if you're new to this, you want to go create an account and then you will be a customer as a veterinarian and then you can kind of go through the process in creating your own account. But um, since we are uh, making this video, we already signed up for an account. Let's go ahead and sign up with my login info. And the landing page looks like this. On, um, in the middle, you have some messages from the VX um, account. And uh, if you scroll down a little bit, you see some information, what's new and what's going on. But you want to go to the top left where it says the VX Home Certificates, and you want to click on New Certificate. This will take you to the first page. We select our destination country. This is where the pet is going to. And... Uh, this is the list of the countries. You'll notice sometimes that you don't have the country that's listed. We're looking for Germany and it's not there. But if you go down, country is not listed. And then you click on upload. This will take you to a new page and it will show you your current destination, which is uploads a little more countries. And now we're in Germany. Next, you wanna choose on what's called the commodity type. What kind of pet, cat, dog, so forth. For this example, we'll choose a dog. And the intended use is usually people are moving, it's their own personal pets, we'll choose personal pets. Type of admission is usually import, uh, permanent import, people are moving overseas. And whatever state you're working from, go ahead and select that. We are from Georgia and we'll go ahead and select Georgia. The consigner is the owner's name, the person bringing the pet in. Uh, in this Example, we'll just uh, use uh, example, example as the first name and um, example as the last name. And the next box will be your accredited veterinarian number. Um, since when I signed this account, we didn't have a, a vet number, but you, veterinarian when you sign this up if you click on that select button you would see your um, your number there and you would select that um, your your uh, own license number and you clip on the shipment date we would provide that info for you for this example we'll just choose next month june 22nd number of animals that are on the certificate for this example we'll choose one you click on next the first page is the upload of the health certificate. So this is the one we attach to the email. You print it out and then you sign it. The vet makes sure the pet's okay and now it's time to upload it. Click on add, click on choose file, find it in your system. In this example, we're using endorsed. Click on upload and then it uploads the health certificate to the system. And then you go to next. Next page will ask you to add attachments. This is the list of attachments. It could be whatever we asked you to upload. So for this specific example, we'll add attachments and we will choose file and go to rabies. And destination on the description will be rabies certificate. And then you hit upload. The next attachment will be uh, a letter to the USDA. We usually provide you a letter with all information on it to upload to the USDA. And since it doesn't have a drop down menu, you go to other and then you type in letter to USDA. And if you have any other attachments to upload, 
like a lab results or import permits or anything that uh, we ask you to, and this will be the place to upload. And then you can go ahead and click on next. This is where you would um, upload the FedEx label. We provide you with a shipping label, so choose file, and then find the FedEx return label or whatever we called it. <clears throat> and then if we ask you to put any instructions on the label, this is the place to do them. And then you can go ahead and click on next. The last page, uh, before the last page is the payment method. We attach, um, we have a credit account with the USDA, so we we ask you to put our account there. If you choose the, the credit account, another option would be to pop up a box where you would input our um, account number, and then you can put our account number there and hit next. The final page is the summary page. This is where all the information summarized, all the pet info. Um, if you made any mistake at any point, you can go ahead and click on edit on the right side and change that uh, description. And just to make sure that we uploaded the, the, the health certificate, you can edit if you need to. We have two attachments. We have the FedEx label and the letter, and then you have the label and the rabies. And our payment information will be in the payment method, but since we didn't put it in this example, and in the comment section, we typically um, ask you to write the statement in the comment section um, for the USDA to know to charge us um, for the actual endorsement. This is included in the letter as well. And then this is where everything will be summarized. You would save your work or submit it. Since we're not accredited USDA vets, we don't have a license number. Um, so we cannot go further, but this is just for this example. We're showing you how to how to process this, and you uh, then you would save work in progress or um, uh, submit it. Um, but if you're not sure, if you're not done yet, so you can go ahead and kind of save the work in progress, and then uh, it will um, it will save that. And then you can go ahead and close that. Um, or that's right, the tracking number is on the top left side, and then that's done. If you at any point um, you need help figure out where to go you just click on the need help option and then the number six six four five seven seven two four eight they're pretty good to answer or you can email this help desk or you can actually uh, call the USDA office in person and they're usually um, um, good to work with and on the left side you can click on view certificates um, this would uh, bring you a window to uh, that you've already uploaded and then the status bar, you can see a work in progress, uh, what they uploaded and so forth. And, um, and, that, and that's, uh, that's the process of uploading a health certificate into VX. I hope this was educational and take care.